Good morning, everyone. Okay, I'm sitting here with my coffee at Jerry's Artorama. You guys, we are gonna go on a mission to find a new sketchbook. And I'm so excited about it. I have, which this is totally insane and I can't believe it. I have three um, pages left in my current sketchbook. And it's the second sketchbook that I will be finishing this year, which I'm just so proud of myself. My goal is to finish one and I finished two. Um, so just FYI, so those two were handmade by Ashley. I will put her YouTube channel down below. I love them. I have enjoyed the size. It's kind of like an A5 type size, a little bit bigger than A5. Um, but I am looking to work a little smaller. I want to change it up. I currently have two other sketchbooks that I am in, but those are themed. So one of them is a little smaller than an A5. It's more of a moleskin size and it's a talons. I think it's called Art Creations Talons sketchbook. Um, that one is a novel sketchbook. So all the sketches in there are from the novel that I am plotting and planning and why did I never think to do a sketchbook for my novel? It has been amazing. Um, so I'll give you guys more information on that if you are interested, especially as we get closer to NaNoWriMo. And then I have a B5 size um, dingbats, which I really do love. Like, I love it. And I'm using that for watercolor studies. So that is specific to um, watercolor. And even further than that, I have been taking some of Brie from Documented Journey, her, her watercolor lessons that you can browse and see on her website, which I'll put her link down below. Um, and it's been so fun to just stretch my art ability and learn more about those specific materials. So what I'm looking for today when I go into Jerry's is a smaller, I'd love to see what it's like to work smaller. I have a feeling that I might be trying to grab two so that I have something small that I can carry with me at all times in my bag because I don't currently have one of those. Um, I don't know though. I don't know. Let's just go see what we find when we go inside Jerry's Artorama. I'm also looking for a couple Neo colors. So hopefully I can find, pick out some Neo colors. And I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure that I have Eco Lines set and Tombows. Maybe a ballpoint pen. No, I have a ballpoint pen that I can use. Um, what else do I need? I'm trying to think through. I should have done this before I left. I'm trying to think through my art stuff to see if I need to get a refill of anything. Colored pencils. So we're going to look at colored pencils and neo colors and see what we can find. It is, hopefully, we can find some sales. Our Jerry's is great about having random sales. So yeah, let's, let's go. Here we are. There's loose paper. This is like the watercolor section and it just goes and goes and goes. Um, I'm really interested in peeking at, where are they? Um, well, I'm gonna see all of them, but this is all of the Stillman and Burn, which I've never used. So I'm excited. I've heard great things about them, I'm excited to check them out. We'll see what we find. Here we have Neocolor 2s. So I'm going to browse. I need to get a couple primary colors. So where to start? It's so much fun. Hi. Okay. I'm back. And I have two sketchbooks that I picked up that I cannot wait to show you guys. Okay, so the first one that I want to show you, I've already taken the wrappers off of all the things, so you don't have to worry about like the glare, because I know a lot of you don't like glare that happens. Um, 
Okay, where do I start? I'm gonna start with this one. This is the sketchbook I was actually most excited to pick up because I've never used one before and it is the Stillman and Burn. It's a Stillman and Burn. This is the Zeta, 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 Zeta series. It is mixed media paper that will hold dry and wet media plus watercolor and ink. It is 270 GSM, acid-free, smooth surface, white paper. I actually used to be a white paper person, but I find myself leaning more towards like a cream. Um, but at our Jerry's, you can actually feel the inside of the Stillman and Burns. And I just, I just fell in love with the feel of it. I wouldn't call it buttery, but it is smooth. Um, so I picked up this, this is like an A5 size. Hopefully that light in the background is not irritating you guys, but I'm excited to dive into this. Okay. Let's see if I can adjust. Nope. That light's just going to be there. All right. Next, I ended up getting a Rhodia. Now, I did already add a sticker. It had like a, it was the only one and it was open. It was one of the ones you could feel, um, which as long as the pages aren't like written in, I'm totally fine. And um, the only other Rhodia pocket size they had had dots on it and I didn't want one with dots. So I asked if I could get, if I could purchase the open, um, plain Rhodia book that was sitting there and it did have like a little sticky mark, but I didn't care because I knew I'd just stick a sticker over it. So this is a Rhodia hardback. I think it's called a web book. Does it say? It didn't come with the stuff like the other. I think it's the web book plain. This is buttery. This is a buttery feel and it is more of a cream color. I'm so excited about working in this size. I've never worked this small, even in journaling. So I'm excited to do a sketchbook this small. Those are the two sketchbooks. And then we get into the things that I bought. Um, I talked about wanting colored pencils and Neo colors, and I did pick up both. I will say, I was hoping that they would have the Karen Dosh um, luminance pencils because I hear that they're like the most buttery smooth things. Um, currently, and this is one thing I did buy, I got this little bag. Um, I already had these. These are Prisma colors. I do love them. I love how buttery they are. My son got the first pack and I got addicted and I got one on sale for back to school through Michael's. And so I love them. They're one of my favorite, my current favorite colored pencils. I also have Jane Davenport's and I like those, but I prefer the Prisma color. I also have a magic pencil that's rainbow colored that is by Create a Color. And I have their black. I don't know where it is. I misplaced it. It's probably in my purse. Um, Cause the last time I remember someone using it was my granddaughter. And I think I threw it in there. I don't know why. Anyhow, I have a black, I think it's like, it's their version of Payne's Gray. And the, do I actually have, let me see if I have it as a tester. Yes. Do I? Uh, Jane Davenport, Prismacolor. I thought I tested it somewhere. I thought it was in my, it's not in my sketchbook. Anyhow, I love it and it is buttery. I would even put it up against the Prisma colors. So since I didn't have the Karen Dosh, which I don't know if I'm saying that right, you guys, um, Luminance, I decided to pick up a couple more of the Create a Color. These, I got the Prussian Blue, the Ochre Light, and the Permanent Dark Red. And I don't, the reason I got those is because I did not have yeah, most of the ones I have are like pinks, like a pinky red, light, light blues, and a bright yellow. So I wanted to add to my collection. So I'm actually gonna stick those in here in this nifty bag that I picked up from Jerry's. I got two of them. I'll show you the other one and what's in there. But I got them because my friend sent me this because she said she loves clear bags and I became obsessed with being able to actually see the colors 
versus the way I was storing these. So I picked up two of these clear bags from Jerry's to store my goodies in. All right, since we've got the Neo Colors, these are the Neo Colors that I already had. I don't even remember when I bought them, but they're all like metallic. I'm like, what was I thinking? So these are the ones I have that I've collected over the years. I think I got these from my art journaling days. Um, and I think they were in a kit because they're all like, you can see the little shimmer. Uh, minus, I think these two were not, these three were not part of the set. Three, four, five, six, was it a set of six? I don't know. These all have a shimmer to them, which has been working fine, but I wished that I had regular colors. Then we have a light blue, a very light yellow, and this is their Payne's Gray, I think. What color is this? Payne's Gray. I love Payne's Gray. Um, so I, I had these, but I really wanted like a red and a green. So I went and you guys saw they were like 260 a piece and I was gonna get a red, a blue, a green, and a yellow. Well, then I saw this pack and it's a pack of 10 and it's got all of the basic colors. So you've got your primaries, you've got your yellow, your green, your blue. Um, but I also don't have a brown or um, an orange. So I thought that it would be nice. And the cost, it was way more cost effective to buy the 10 in a pack versus individually my red, green, blue, and yellow. So I got my Neo Color 2s in this little clear zipper pouch. And then in the second zipper pouch that I got, this is what I should not have purchased. This was the thing that was not on my list to get, but I saw them and I think they were 10%, it was 10% off and I've been wanting to try them. I don't really use acrylic. Um, I'm just not opening, I'm just not realizing one of these has been opened, but that's okay, it's not been used. Um, I saw, was it Emma Carlisle? I think it was Emma Carlisle used these. And I don't use acrylic paint, because then you gotta deal with the paintbrush, and then you gotta deal with like the water. I do love watercolor, and I use a water brush, and so it's just, it's not messy, it's easy to carry. I've got my watercolors in here, um, all my Jane Davenport watercolors. But I saw these and I was curious to try them. So I got three. These are acrylic, Liquitex acrylic markers. So I got light green, light blue, and maple, Naples, Naples yellow. The reason that I chose these colors is a lot of what I do in my sketchbook is um, nature focused. I mean, I don't know, I do a little bit of everything, but some of my favorite things are the trees and let me see if I can show you a couple things. I believe I have a flip, a full flip of my sketchbook over on Patreon, but um, trees, houses, um, I have been doing some people studies with Sarah Dyer, but you know, I, I like, I like landscapey type things. So that's one of the reasons that like, I was like, okay, I'm getting three. What three should I get? And I'm like, I can use this for trees, for grass, for sky. And my favorite color is mustard yellow. So that had to come home with me. Anyhow, that is my adventure to Jerry's and all the goodies that I ended up taking home with me. I'm so excited about these. I don't even know which one I want to start. I'm, I'm probably going to start them both because you know, while one thing dries, although I don't really use wet media. Yeah, I'm going to be in both of these. I kind of, so I'm finishing the one sketchbook. I kind of want to finish both of these by the end of the year. Is that too much to ask. That might be a too big of a goal, but we'll see. I kind of want one to be more art journaling where it's going to have art pieces. I'm, I'm leaning towards this because I don't know, this one just feels a little more like I just want to tuck it in my back pocket and have it house poetry and 
art that shows what I'm feeling. Whereas this one, I want to like sketch what I see. And I mean, who knows? Who knows? But I'm excited that I actually have sketchbooks to move into after I finish my current one, which I think I have four pages is what I counted. So I'll be finishing this by the end of, probably by the end of the week, honestly. Um, Cause I have some things I want to, I have a couple um, draw with me videos that I want to actually watch and do. And that usually fills it up. Okay. That is everything I'm going to run. I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. Um, let me know what you're working in. Let me know how your sketchbooks are going and yeah, until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives. <laughs>